Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Kristen, also known as Glam Kristen88. And this is going to be a talk through tutorial on how I created this look. I do apologize, my sound for the video was just whole horrible. I had to do a talk over. So just keep watching, like, comment, and subscribe. Alright, so I'm going to go in with the Saharan by Juvia's Place. And the color Katsina, it is a matte, and this is going to be my first transition color. And I am using a Pro Crease Brush from Sephora. And I'm going to work that shade right above my crease. I did do my brows off camera with NYX Brow Gel and an angled brush. And also a spoolie. And I concealed the bottom half with LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Natural and I dragged it down for a eyeshadow primer. The in 2 palette also by Juvie's Place and I'm going to use that color Jezebel. I'm going to work that color right over <clears throat> the Katsina from the Saharan palette and that is going to be my second transition color. So I'm just really, I'm just speeding up the video and just going to work that right over that right above my crease. And I'm just going to continue to blend that. I'm going to stay in the Nubian 2 palette. And I'm going to use this Wet n Wild crease brush that I picked up for a dollar. And I'm going to use this dark brown Kenya. And apply that to my crease. I'm just going to dab off any excess and work that right into my crease. This brush was so great, it was like fit into my crease perfectly and it is so soft and for a dollar, I mean, you just can't beat that. So I'm just gonna blend that into that crease and really darken it. At this point, I really didn't know what I wanted to do and I just knew I wanted to try out these eyeshadows. So I'm just really darkening up that crease, layering that Kenya, the dark brown on top of the other two transition colors. Just going to continue to blend. Alright, so I'm going to go in with these cotton tip applicators I picked up at Walmart. They are pointed. And this is eye makeup remover I put into a washing where I can just pump down and I'm going to get some makeup remover on those. And now I'm going to carve out a crease for a cut crease. So I finally decided what I was going to do. So I figured this would be a good, great, easy way to carve out a crease and not have to use so much concealer. So I just wipe it off. You have to worry about it. So that is just makeup remover. So these pointed tips really help a lot. And I am going really fast, but I'm just like wiping off and cleaning out a shade to do a cut crease. Okay, now I'm going to go in with this hard candy eyeshadow primer and apply that to where I just wiped off all the makeup on my lid. So, and I'm just gonna dab that on with my fingers. This, I'm really liking this eyeshadow primer. So, and you can pick that up at Walmart. And I'm trying to keep everything in this video really pocket friendly and affordable. So, that is something you can pick up from Walmart. I'm going to go back in with the Saharan palette and this eyeshadow C brush from e.l.f. and go in with that black and it is called Chad. So I'm going to go in with that and this C brush and go into that space where I just applied that eyeshadow primer and just really darken it up. And Leander's like flipping on the bed behind me but he's totally oblivious to me. I'm going with this Precision Crease from Crown Brushes. 
just so I could have a smaller tip and get a more precise application because I do want to keep that crease section open. So I don't want the black to go all the way up. So I'm just going to continue to blend that out and just apply more. Going back and forth with the two brushes. Alright, so I went ahead and covered the entire lid minus the crease face. And so I'm going to go in with the Saharan palette. And that color is Fula. It is like, it's a foil shadow almost, a real shimmery. And I'm just going to apply that right over the black. I honestly couldn't tell you why I chose black as my base color, but I like the result and it turned out great. So just going to apply that. I'm going to use this, look at this flat brush, it's a concealer brush from e.l.f. and just so I can get a better application of it, just pat that right on. I'm going to go in with this glitter eyeliner from Fantasy Makers. I picked this up right after Halloween and I'm going to apply that silver glitter to that crease space I left open. I'm just going to line that. Just apply that liner and wing it out to the side. And I'll do the same to the other eye. I'm going to line my eyes with Elf Cream Highlighter in black and a small angle brush. I'm just going to line my eyes. It was starting to get a little dry. I did drop a few drops of vitamin E into it and it made it so much easier to work with and so I'm just going to line my eyes. This is sped up so I do go really slow in this part. So I usually use tape this time so I was like you know what I'll just use my hand and let's see how it goes because I can clean anything up that I need to clean up. So I'm just going to line my eyes. Alright, so I have both eyes lined. I'm going to go in with the Salon Perfect Lash Applicator. I picked up on clearance for $1.50 at Walmart the other day. And of course, Duo Lash Glue. And I'm going to apply these lashes that I got from eBay. So, five sets for like 94 cents. So, I'm just going to apply a thin layer of glue to the lashes. It and let those go. I really like these tweezers. They um, are more comfortable to the hand. They're bigger and they open wider. So really great for applying lashes. So I'm just going to apply these lashes. I did curl and apply just a drop of mascara to my lash. Lashes are held to put on. Use my fingers. I apologize in time. You can't really see. But get those lashes put on and get those on, and then I'll do the other side. Alright, so I got lashes on. I'm using the Rimmel's London Stay Matte Mattifying Primer, and I'm just going to apply a ton of that to my face. And I'm going to rub that in with my fingertips. And I'm really, really oily, so that's going to help with that. So I'm just rub that all the way in on my face. Rub all of that in. All right, I'm gonna use this buffing brush from Real Techniques. It is old, so the bottom is like sticky. And this Dream Matte Muse from Maybelline in 90. I'm gonna get a couple pumps on the back of my hand, and then I'm gonna spray my 
brush with Makeup Forever uh, Fix Spray and just dab that all over my face. It's like misty set or something. I'm just gonna apply that and buff that into my face. So I always pull my hair back to get my edges. And I'm gonna just apply a little bit more to my brush. It is buildable coverage, so I'm gonna work that all the way in, all over my face. Make sure I go down, rinse. I don't wanna look, I have a mask on. That is key, ladies. Blend, 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 blend. You don't want a neck. Just gonna blend that in really well. Right, and my contacts were getting there, so. <clears throat> Excuse me. Alright, just use the makeup wipe to wipe that off my face. We went in with the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Natural. Right. And I'm gonna apply my highlights. So I'm gonna look under my eye. Just do a little stroke marks. On my cupid's bow, my chin, and down the bridge of my nose. I do that as well up to like my forehead. Just draw some lips up there or something. <clears throat> I aim down below where my contour would be. And so apply that. And I'm going to go in with this damp sponge. It's not a beauty blender. I picked it up at the beauty supply. Really cheap. So this stuff that you know everybody can find and it's not gonna break your pocket. So I'm just gonna dab and blend that in. Just so gonna blend it in. Gotta make sure it blends really well. Make sure I get underneath. Continue to blend. Alright, so I'm just gonna continue to blend that and now I'm going with this LA colors contour stick that you can get for eight dollar is my favorite thing to use a contour and as you can see it's about, it's about to fall apart so <laughs> all right so put it back together i have like five or six of these things laying around i'm just going to contour my nose i start at the top and kind of go down and just line along my nose and go down the sides so, just apply that. And these are so great to contour your nose because they're really small. And so they can be a lot more precise. I'm going to use this e.l.f. stippling brush. Now this is a large one and I am just going to blend that out in circular motions. I feel like this gives me an airbrush look. An airbrush look, I'm sorry. And so I really love it. I love it to blend. And this LA Colors Contour Stick blends so wonderfully. I've only ever seen one tone of it at my local store, so I'm not sure if there's other shades or not. So I'm just going to blend all that in and make sure I blend really well along my jawline. And I'm just going to blend all that in. Just continuing to blend, and now I'm gonna go in with a smaller stippling brush. And this is just a brush that I got from like Walgreens or something, and they're like special edition, edition DC Comics brushes, and they work so great. All right, now we're going with the Ruby Kisses 3D palette face creator, and I'm using that yellow powder to set my highlight areas and really carve out that nose contour. So I'm just going to carve that out and I am using just a triangle sponge to do this. You can get them in a really big pack or really cheap and so I'm just going to carve out all those areas where I applied my highlight and just really help to carve out that contour of my nose. So now I'm going to use that same stippling brush and the powder from this Ruby Kisses. 3D Face Creator, and I'm going to set my contour. So I'm just going to blend that out in a circular motion and really set that contour. All right, now I'm going to go in with this Elf Pressed Mineral Powder in the color Toffee, and this Dome Powder Brush from Crown Brushes, and knock all of that powder off. 
that I used to highlight. Okay. I'm just going to brush all of it off, dust it away, and you want to make sure you get it really well. Anytime you highlight with a really light powder like I did, you want to try to use a foundation uh, that's your color to help not only set the rest of your face that, that didn't have powder, but to really kind of neutralize some of that bright powder. I'm going to use this Ruby Kisses Dare to Blush Blush Quad and use that purple color. And that is a blush brush. Ooh, tongue twister, a blush brush from e.l.f. And I'm going to apply that to the apple of my cheeks and kind of just, and I'm just going to continue to blend, blend, blend. And I'm using a smaller blush brush and just going to make sure it's blended really well. All right, I'm going to use this e.l.f. Shimmer Whip in the color Pink Lemonade and their highlighting brush. Um, for my highlights, I'm going to just take a little tiny dab and just apply a couple dots to my cheeks. This is my first time using it, so I have to play around with the application, but I'm just going to dab it with my fingers and then use this highlighting brush to really try to blend it out. Okay. Just going to use that brush to blend, blend, blend. So I'm just continuing to blend that pink lemonade out. With that highlighting brush from e.l.f., I'm going to apply some to my nose as well as my cupid's bow. And the trick to this is just use a little bit at a time until you figure out how to use it. So that's what I'm going to do. And then the last thing I'm going to do are my lips. And I'm using this Mika K New York pencil in the color Indigo to line and Joy is the name of this Hyper Shine lip gloss from e.l.f. And so I'm going to use those two together. So I line my lips and I'm just going to kind of mesh those two together. And twist this lip gloss. <laughs> they do take a lot of twisting, y'all. Like, I feel like I was twisting forever. So finally I got some color. And this color is so pretty and it mixed so well with this indigo, which it's like a purple, a dark purple plum. Last but not least, I'm going to spray my face with this Hard Candy Fast and Fabulous Makeup Setting Spray. Spray that all over and that's it ladies. Thanks for watching. I did decide to go back and line my lower lash line with that color Jezebel and a smudge brush and I also line my waterline with a black eye pencil. This is the finished look. And thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And leave me some feedback.